All right, back again, Luke here. And today what I thought I'd do is show you guys something that uh, I was working on. Uh, this is something that I pulled out of my closet, something I had for a long time. When I bought it, it was in some really rough shape. As you can see, there's lots and lots of uh, divots in here. But uh, this is one of the old Hori uh, Neo fighting sticks. And uh, it was really, really trashed when I got it a long time ago. And I had put it aside for some time. And then today, when I was going through my closet, I wound up finding it again. So I figured I'd uh, kind of uh, modify it a little bit and uh, make it look a little bit more like a Neo. And as you can see here, I've uh, changed around the button scheme. Uh, the button pattern here. Uh, the original buttons for this Horty stick are actually gray and uh, they look like this. So if you can see this here. These are the original buttons that were on it. Um, these ones were in some yeah, decent shape I guess. They were quite dirty. Uh, I have one of them that I pulled apart here. You can see the inside of it. But uh, the whole thing was really in rough shape, so I stripped it down, tried to clean it up a bit. Uh, the original ball that was on the top here, uh, it was black, so I swapped that out for the red colored one here, which is a brand new ball on the top, and uh, yeah, I tried to liven it up a little bit, make it look a little bit better, even though it does have a lot of scratches and a lot of... Um, you know, in-depth uh, um, gouges in it. It's still uh, a pretty heavy-duty fighting stick. It's a really well-designed, um, really, you know, heavy, heavy-duty uh, stick controller for the Neo Geo, which is one thing that I like about it. The other thing I like about it is it does have turbo features, so you can turn on the turbo buttons here, uh, good for shooting games. And uh, yeah, it kind of relieves the button mashing a bit. What I did is I used uh, some Sanwa buttons, and uh, these are the original Sanwa buttons that I had in one of my other control panels, which uh, I pulled out. I wound up kind of sanding down the sides here and uh, painting them black a little bit. This, uh, this button actually, I thought I had a complete set uh, of like red, yellow, green, and blue. But when I got to putting them together, I realized I didn't have a blue one, so this one was actually pink. Um, I wound up kind of, you know, sanding it down and painting it a little bit, but if I get another blue one, I'll definitely swap that out for this. But for the time being, it's the same color pattern, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, the original buttons that you can notice here, these are the original ones. These are actually soldered in. Uh, they're just similar to the super gun and you have to desolder these things to get them out But if you take a look at the difference between the uh, the two prongs here You can see there's quite a big gap even if you were to kind of bend these ones together There's still a, a pretty good gap, you know when they go to slide in and uh, the thickness of them is quite different if you take a look at the two so what I did is I got out my Dremel tool and uh, I carved away enough of a spot where I could actually put these tabs through. These are actually the longer ones. What I wound up using is uh, shorter ones, kind of similar to this. And then uh, they mount into the circuit board and then they solder onto the back of the circuit board. But I used my Dremel tool and I cut out uh, some spots where these could actually slide in much easier and then uh, attach the traces to those and yeah, you know, got this thing to work. But it was just something that uh, I wanted to kind of liven up here a little bit and it had been sitting in the closet for a little while and I mean it hadn't been used for a very long long time so I wanted to try and you know get it back to a somewhat usable condition and when I started looking at it more and more I realized okay well you know I could go with the original buttons and just put it back together but it kind of looks bland with these just all gray buttons and uh, I kind of wonder why Hori didn't uh, go with the Neo Geo pattern for this maybe there was some sort of copyright or something I don't know but um, nonetheless kind of livened it up a little bit went and uh, put some grease in the uh, joystick there and got that working out pretty good as you can see over there on the monitor well kind of maybe you can see got brick inger in there just using that to uh, test out for the moment but uh, everything seems to be working out okay and uh, yeah it's nothing super special here but uh, figured nonetheless I could let you guys take a look at it and um, yeah show you what uh, what I've been up to here so but um, you know just a real simple mod here nothing super special or spectacular but it's uh, something that I thought, you know, it might be kind of fun to mess around with, so I decided to, you know, give it a shot today. And since I had a lot of free time and spare time, I, uh, yeah, I decided to go with this. 
And I think it looks a little bit better than the original um, gray buttons, or the gray button color scheme that it had. Because the original gray button color scheme, when, when you went and looked at it, it just looked like a bland stick. Now it looks, you know, looks like it's got a little bit of life to it. So, not too bad. I'm kind of happy with that. But, um, yeah. Nonetheless here, that's uh, just a short little video to show you guys what I've been up to here. And uh, hopefully I'll get into some more projects and try and do some more repairs here. I pulled out the old Duo R there. I was playing a little bit of, uh, what is it, Dracula X and uh, Rondo of Blood. But uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching. I can move this thing up here a little bit closer.